Assalamualaikum. Okay, today we are from Group 6. We will present our PBL project which is, um, the title that we choose is um, about door and window safety alarm. Okay, this group consists of um, Shafiq Nur Hazman, Farah Dina, Raja Shazani and me, Safi Hadiba. Okay, I will start with introduction of this project. Okay, besides of have uh, a CCTV at the home, it is important too to have another safety system to give more safety. Okay, based on this situation, in this project, we get we get an idea in propose a system of microprocessor. Okay, we are going to create a door safety alarm. Why door safety alarm? Okay, installing this door safety alarm will protect us and family from any danger or criminal burglary. Okay, in this project, we will see how we create the alarm by using 68 60k microprocessor and how the alarm work by step by step okay next for the objective okay it will give chance to students to be creative in propose a system of microprocessor next we are able to assemble the program to achieve the pro operation using either 68k then make a house more safe and to decrease the number of cases about criminal cases of burglary Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Raja Shazani Biraja So, so here I will talk about system description of alarm system. So, this system is a simple technique involve installing sensor laser that connect with an alarm control panel or command center situated in a suitable position, like a door or windows. So. Laser sensors can be found on entry and exit points to homes as well as on windows that can be accessed quickly, notably those on the ground floor. Motion sensor can be used to secure open area within a home, area, area outside and inside home. So when a security zone is broken, the control panel sends a buzzy alert and interact with an alarm monitoring provider. For easy programming and engagement, when the when we want to go the house, inside house, we have a touchpad. We have a passcode, so passcode are tied to arm and disarm the system, and the Passcode is a function with voice, command or wireless remote control. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nafaradina. Today I will be present about schematic diagram, list of component and conclusion. Uh, this is my um, block diagram for door and windows security alarm system. Okay, uh, a resistor with a resistance of 6.6 kilo ohm will be an active resistor. This resistor is active because the voltage will decrease and be above the cutting voltage of 0.6 volt. Uh, when the LDR has a lower resistance, uh, at the time uh, it is in front of the light, and when the LDR has a high resistance, then uh, it has no light. In this case, uh, the resistor offered by the LDR is too low, which can cause the LDR to be unable uh, to turn on the resistor. Uh, resistor remain in the dead state when one of the people or object pass through the laser. Uh, it can block the continuous flow which can increase the voltage drop and exceed the voltage of the resistor cutter. Therefore, it will uh, it will be emit a bit and will light up. Uh, in the schematic diagram, the component we use are LDR, a light dependent resistor, transistor and pin N, BC548, resistor, uh, laser diode, 5 volt, piezo speaker, uh, 5 volt buzzer, uh, SPST, single post, single through, switch, power supply, reflective mirror, and hardware easy 68K. Okay. Uh, LDR, LDR can be used in the door safety alarm system circuit where it can detect clearly. Uh, LDR is an electronic component and this is very easy. It can be used to detect passing light and can change the operation of the circuit. Uh, second is transistor NPN. This NPN type 
transistor has three terminal among them are emitter, base and collector which are used for external circuit connection other terminal uh, and can drive load below 500 mA uh, transistor are, wi are widely used in electrical and electronic project the third is resistor resistor can be defined as a passive component that has two terminal that are used to limit the flow of current passing into an electrical circuit Next, uh, diode. Diode laser is a semiconductor device that uses a PN junction to produce coherent radiation with a frequency. Uh, laser diode can also convert electrical energy into uh, light energy. Uh, piezo speaker or buzzer. Okay, buzzer uh, device that contain a electrical vibration plate found in a molded casing. When a voltage is applied to the buzzer, while sound is emitted. Then the buzzer will vibrate. Uh, the buzzer is often used a low current but has a higher noise. Switch uh, is a switch that has one input terminal and one output terminal only. This switch is used on a circuit that acts as an on off switch, and this switch is very easy to use. And power supply uh, a battery is a component that transforms energy into electrical energy. Uh, according to the principle of easy, energy cannot be destroyed and can only change shape. When a battery supply electric energy, the positive terminal method as the cathode and the negative as the anode. And the last one is hardware easy 68K. Uh, easy 68K is a free 68 structure hall language. It's a low to compile, run and debug 68K program on a Windows PC without additional hardware. Software de development for the 68K system described here is all done using Easy 68K. In this project, we use seven statement and when the address switch is turned on. Okay, so next I will be explaining about the program, the flowchart, and the operation of our circuit. Okay, so first this is the program coding that we use for our circuit which we have two parts here which is the laser part and the buzzer part okay next okay next for the flowchart and the operation of our system okay so this is the flowchart that we made and as for the operation our circuit will be installed at the door so first of all as usual we will turn on the circuit and run the circuit and this what this point uh, the laser will be turned on and it will be pointed at the LDR so the LDR rate at this moment it will be low or uh, which is uh, uh, refers here as the zero and the buzzer will be off it will stay off so then when someone open the door um, it will push away our laser from pointing towards the LDR so the LDR reading will be turned uh, from the low from the low or 0 to high which is 1 and it will make the buzzer to turn on which is it will buzz it will, buzz, it will buzzing so as you can see at the right side of this slide this is uh, the reference for our circuit so the latent switch uh, the latent switch at number 2 will be refers as the LDR rate so for the laser statement here the LDR rate uh, the latent switch is on and it represents um, the LDR rate as low so uh, when the LDR rate is high the latent switch will be turned off and as you can see the buzzer statement will, be, uh, will appear at the 7 segment display so it uh, it tell us that the buzz, the buzzer is working right now. So uh, if the the owner of the house has want this to be repeated again and again every single time they open the door, they can simply turn off the circuit and turn on when they need it back. Okay, so that's all for the operation for our system. Okay, for the discussion says alarm system in this previous project we use a 68k installation language program to put alarm security using laser sensor and bus sound when exposed to laser sensor using 68k 
Visual Simulator hardware. We need to place a hex number based on a binary number on a common cathode to a memory location of E0000 up to E0000E to show a functioning sensor from a laser and bus sensor in 68K hardware. We put the hex number accordingly in the program so that the sensor or sound process take place. During the laser and bus process happen, we execute a function in the program to have a delay between the available numbers is displayed so that we can clearly see that the bus sensor is about to occur. After each procedure, the software will return to the main program to determine if it is a sensor on the laser and sound a bus for the next step. Uh, in conclusion, we have planned to make a drone security alarm system using easy state hardware simulation. This is because it is easy to use when at home and safe cost. Uh, easy state SK is very effective for this security alarm because uh, we have used coding for buzzer and laser in the coding so that the circuit mounted on the door of chef can identify and work in addition the circuit use is very simple and uncomplicated uh, the security alarm on the door will work when someone was just enter the door and window in the house cut and laser line and then the buzzer will sound loudly okay before we end our presentation okay this is um the recommendation for this project okay first uh, we need to we can replace the say the seven segment of buzzer and laser to a real buzzer and laser okay because of um this pan pandemic COVID 19 we can do the real buzzer and laser so if we can do um real soon okay change the seven segment buzzer and laser to the real buzzer and laser okay next place the door safety alarm not only at the main door okay the this safety alarm can place it in at every windows and door have in her house and then set the buzzer sound to maximum so that we can hear the buzzer clearly okay that's all from me thank you